Well, I think the biggest misconception that people have about my experience is really that they should pity me. I guess that I feel sorry for myself or that I'm sad about my situation. And I'm very excited to be able to go in front of people and have the stage and talk and tell people I'm not a sob story. You don't have to pity me. My life didn't end on April 10th. Luckily, I stayed alive because the doctors work and their you know, dedication with the nurses and working 14 hours around the clock to make sure I stayed alive. But I think people at first are kind of afraid to talk to me and approach me because they think I'm gonna be shut off or they don't wanna ask me what happened. And I'm the first one to say, hey, how are you doing? I'm Travis, nice to meet you. I stepped on a bomb. Obviously, you can tell something happened, but I'm thankful to still be here. I take my daughter to school at 8 a.m. and at 8.15, I'm in the CrossFit gym. And then my wife and I will have our plans for the day. I go to the grocery store and I pick up groceries for our, our family if I need to. And um, I still keep going with life. And I think that I just live my life every day to the fullest. I tell people I had a bad day at work, you know, real case of the Mondays. And um, I wouldn't go through an explosion again. I would never want this, but since I have had this, I've learned the difference in reminiscing the past and dwelling in the past. And I just reminisce the past and I'm thankful for what I have and uh, I keep pushing forward. So yeah, I guess that would be the thing I think people are really confused about with me. They think that my life's over, that I'm really sad and down and out, and I'm truly not because I know the lives that were lost, the family members that don't have their loved ones home anymore, and I'm you know, very thankful and fortunate to still have that ability to see my wife and my daughter and my mom and dad and my sister and brother and everybody and um, enjoy life to the fullest every day.